Now, on Monday, Turkey's defense ministry announced that they held a talks with a Russian military delegation in Ankara. Now, the talks focused on the YPG's withdrawal process inside Syria as agreed between Turkey and Russia. But Turkey's foreign minister, Çavuşoğlu, announced that, that the withdrawal process was still continuing, but it wasn't completed yet. Let's listen to a statement made by Çavuşoğlu. In the agreement we made with Russia, if at the end of the 150 hours the YPG haven't withdrawn from Kobani, the Euphrates River, and all the way to our Iraqi border for a length of 444 kilometers and a depth of 30 kilometers, we have publicly made clear that Turkey will then clear these terrorists from there. The deadline of the withdrawal as agreed between Turkey and Russia will end on Tuesday at 15 GMT, which is going to be 6 p.m. local time. So it's going to be critical to see what happens after that. Elaine? Mihal, the big news over the weekend was the killing of ISIL leader Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi. Many ISIL prisoners remain inside Syria. So what happens to them? Well, it was first announced by the White House, even before the Turkish offensive, that Turkey would be taking over the responsibility of ISIL prisoners in the area uh, as part of the so-called safe zone plan. Now, Turkey did agree to this, but also emphasized that it would be Turkey's long-term goal for ISIL prisoners, foreign ones especially, to be returned to their country of origin. Now, right now, as uh, Turkey has stated, uh, right now they are guarding the ISIL prisons inside the region, Turkey and Turkey-backed Syrian forces. And and some of these ISIL prisons are also being guarded by the Syrian Kurdish YPG. Now, Turkey wants to send back the ISIL prisoners and their families to their country of origin, to European countries especially. But EU countries have been very reluctant to do so, uh, except for a number of them, such as Norway and the Netherlands, who have taken back or decided to take back some ISIL uh, prisoners families at this moment, uh, but other countries, other EU countries have been uh, unwilling to do so at this time. So it's going to be one of Turkey's biggest challenges to deal with these ISIL prisons inside the region. Elaine? All right, Mihal Baravid live near the Turkey-Syria border.